Hello and welcome to a tutorial on Node Basics. This tutorial will show you the basic functions of the LavaStorm Analytics Engine, such as adding, renaming, and running nodes, viewing data in the BRD viewer, and joining nodes together. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to add a node to the graph canvas. All nodes are located in the library and are grouped by categories. First, I need to locate the node I want to add and then double click on that node. Once the node is added, I click the node and drag it to my desired location on the graph. It's always a good idea to rename the node. To do so, simply double click on the node and type the name into the name field. This edit window is also where I would update the specifics of the node. Depending on the node, I can enter parameters, specify what data to output, and more. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to run the node. First, I need to make sure the node is selected. Selected nodes are highlighted on the graph. Then, I click the Run button on the BRE main toolbar. It's the green Play button. If the node runs successfully, a green checkmark appears as well as the number of records the node has produced. If the node fails to run, a red cross will appear above the node as well as an error message when you hover over the node. If I need to rerun this node at any time, I can click the Rerun button next to the Run button on the BRE main toolbar. I can also stop the node from running or clear the node status. To see the data produced by the node, double-click on the green output pin. If the pin is red, then the node did not run correctly. I'm going to double-click the pin. The BRD, or Business Rules Data Viewer, displays a snapshot of the data produced by the node. Now I'm going to show you how to join nodes. Back on the graph, I went ahead and added a second node. Notice that the input pin for this node is red. This is because there is currently no data feeding the node. When the pin is orange, it means an output has an unprocessed dependency. Last is a white pin. This means an input is not yet processed. Now I want to use the data from the first node for the second node, so I need to join the nodes together. To do this, first click on the output pin for the first node, then drag over to the input pin on the second node. Once the nodes are joined, the input pin on the second node turns green. If I want to add a bend point to the join line, I simply right click on the line, go to Insert, and choose Bend Point. When I hover over the join line, the bend point appears as a red dot. Now I can move the bend point to my desired location. A bend point is a useful tool when dealing with a large graph. I can also create a bend point by pressing the control key on my keyboard and clicking on the join line. Then just as before, I move the bend point to my desired location. To remove a join line, simply click the pin and drag it away. Now I'm going to show you some extra functionality you can perform with nodes. The first is the ability to group nodes together. This is a great tool to use when you find yourself using the same group of nodes over and over again. Simply select all the nodes you want to group, go to Edit, and select Group Selected Nodes. Then enter a name for the group. To see the underlying nodes, just double-click. You can then edit the underlying nodes as needed. For example, let's say I want to add an output to this composite. First, I'm going to select the filter node, since this is where I want to join the output. Then, I go to Insert, and select Output. An output pin has been added. What this allows me to do is join the output of this composite node with the input of other nodes. Now, I can return to the main graph view. You can also customize the icon of the node. Simply right-click and select Edit. All nodes come with an icon button. This button allows you to choose an icon you want to display for the node. Also within All Nodes is the ability to enter hover text. Under the Developer section, type in a description of the node. This is useful when sharing graphs with other people. 
They can hover over the node and see what the node is designed to do. Now all you have to do is hover, and the description appears. While there are at least 130 nodes at your disposal, the following are the top 10 commonly used nodes. For more information about the nodes, access the Bree Help within the LavaStorm Analytics Engine software.